We are now entering into Boggy Creek Green Belt. Um, bottom end of a project that's going on here. Um, and we are at the end where it meets up with ooh, cold water. This is where it meets <clears throat> the large pool before it becomes uh, before it becomes uh, the Army Corps project. You can see all the sediment built up, built up here. It, uh, it gets emptied out every five to seven years or on need. And we're now gonna go upstream so that we can see uh, Butte four and after shots. This might be a mildly long walk. It is definitely cold. Oh my goodness. My feet are numb already. Oh. Just recently had some cold weather. The date is December 21st, a few days before Christmas. You can hear a hawk yelling at a grackle. All right, back into the cold water. Along this green belt, we have hawks, as was just heard. We have uh, barred owls. Oh, goodness. Deep and cold. I'll probably kill all the audio to this. Uh, possums, raccoons. In here we have long-eared sunfish, lots of crawdads. Oh, burr. Um, what else have I seen along here? See in some spots we've got uh, some near bedrock exposures, a lot of gravel, not a whole lot of cobble as a substrate in here. You can see a little better the, uh, the erosion, that is the railroad track side and this is the park side of the bank. See lots of uh, little minnows moving along. I don't know if that'll be detectable in the film. The entire substrate of the stream here is covered with some algae. You can see we haven't mowed the banks for a while. So we've got uh, some ragweed coming along that side. This side you can just see uh, backfill from the for along the train Walked through a whole lot of leaf litter in the stream. Can smell uh, decomposition. You know, we can see we've got quite a few floatables that come in and along here. Um, and then this rock here is, uh, it's uh, a remnant of the volcanoes that existed earlier here. You can see we've got a nice little uh, riffle and you can see in the riffle the substrate is primarily small gravel. 
give a better idea of size. See the uh, erosion eating back on the storm drain there. Hello. How you doing? Oh, hey man, if I brought you another trash can, would you uh, put some of that stuff in it? All right, or a trash bag, I mean, I'll bring you one. Uh, Thank you. You have a good day, stay warm. Okay, so here's where the uh, old sewer line crops out. This is part of what's gonna be removed. Back onto a lot of this substrate here is that uh, that uh, volcanic rock I was talking about. See, it goes all the way back. So, hit it back upstream. Now we get a good uh, view of the of the sewer lines. Hop up on them for some easier travel. It's sort of the sidewalk of the sidewalk of the creek around here. Alright, another nice pool. See how the roots there are holding the bank back. Also do a nice job of collecting some trash and other debris. Now we're coming up, uh, this is a common crossing here. Um, just behind uh, the bathrooms in the park to give you some reference. You can see uh, this point here has been eaten away. That's only about uh, three years old going back in. It used to be even with the above and upstream and downstream. I'm pretty sure most of this in here is also going to be removed. Nice chalk art or spray paint. We had just done a creek cleanup that was down to this point here. You can see this area almost always has water. There was maybe a point last year where it dried out. So, this is the bathrooms I was talking about. This is the crossing. Pretty commonly used. And uh, here we can see the uh, sewer line running still that way. You can get a good idea of how uh, incised this channel is. I think we'll go down and move along the channel. Instead of up on the concrete so we get a better view of the creek itself. Another little riffle right here, mainly held up by this drop down structure being the old lines crossing there. And here we've got some good substrate. Back in a lot of leaf litter here. Some Ruelia, ragweed, mostly Ruelia, ragweed, and some Johnson grass, various other things here. Kind of a nice pool here. Uh, you can see bank is incised all along that. You see how rapidly it goes up. I guess we got the view here. And I'll take us up onto the in-stream sidewalk. Gives us a good view of that incision along there. 
And then you can see over here, this little trail to the tracks. Straight ahead into this bend is a patch of uh, green belt that doesn't get mowed. And so it has a nice little forest in it. This is another spot where somebody sleeps quite a bit. Okay, so we're coming into the bottom of what I tend to refer to as the S-curve. Still coming along and uh, you can see how this sewer line continues up there. Turning around, we have one coming in here and then headed all the way back down to where we had just come from. Back into a 360, see an old line right there. Get my shadow in this now. So here, over to the left, as we travel upstream is the forest I was talking about. You know, uh, some good native plants in there, also a fair amount of ligustrum, giant ligustrum right here. Heading back on up, you can see also a lot of uh, our substrate in the stream is uh, chunks of concrete and cut rock. All along this edge there is that's left hand bank even though it's on the right of the picture is more of that uh, and all this right down along here is the uh, is that volcanic layer I was talking about here we have a, a near dying uh, willow in the center of the stream channel And uh, just get a good shot of that geologic formation of the volcanic layer. And a spectacular pecan tree that's in the end of its life. You can see how... Uh, block that sun. See how this willow there has gathered up quite a bit of stuff. Excellent for slowing down the water. And they will still be even removing this uh, pipe all the way up to here. And this is the last we see of the pipe. <clears throat> see a really nice spot. Well, interesting to look at just in that... Uh, this is where they cut down for the, the sewer line that they put in and now is maintained as a, a drop-off. And now we're headed up towards the uh, last bend in the S-curve and towards Poquito, tributary Poquito coming from Northwestern. We have a bunch of uh, Arundo growing over here in this uh, bank. You can see some of the history of this area as it was a, an old dump. So we've got quite a few tires and car parts and porcelain tins coming out of the, the banks. They'll be removing some of that. Another nice shot into that forest. Now we're coming up to the beach. 
which actually in the last few years has been building up quite a bit. Uh, I don't know if there's construction sediment that's coming in in high amounts because the whole stream up, uh, up, upstream from this has been filling in a little bit. This is where Paquito Trib comes in. Uh, a lot of trash comes in from that direction. Onto the bank here. This is the uh, top of the S curve. To give you an idea where we are, you can see the old gazebo there. And from where the the energy of this stream comes in here, you get uh, quite a bit of cut along that edge. All right, we're going to continue on up. So you can see this gravel bar here. This used to be a deep pool, and it's been. Uh, now, besides the water being low, uh, there's been a fair amount of uh, buildup. And you can see all along here, all these parts. Hopefully you can see that. I don't know if that's visible or not. Nice, uh, Riffle right here. Once again, you can see uh, there is some nice cobble sized rock in this. There's also big chunks of concrete and uh, other substrate from construction All along this edge. Maybe a better, <clears throat> better shot of dump materials that are in here. And just to give you know an idea of how the bank is cut there. Hmm. Now you can see the construction crews have come through and done some pruning on these trees. Here we have, uh, looks like uh, limestone, bedrock bottom, which is probably a lot of why we have uh, up here and some good cobble in all this as well. Up ahead we have a nice... Oh, oh they pruned the ligustrum. How nice. And just take it out. Well, I guess when you don't know what plants are, they're all just plants to you. None are good, none are bad, they just are. Okay, make my way up and out of the pool here. This is a... Uh, a willow tree that came down we left in to 
Leave some large woody debris in the stream. You can see it's uh, building up, which is good. It's exactly what it should be doing. Slows stuff down. We've got a little, as a result, deposition happening in the inside of the bend here, which is something you would expect. Another giant chunk of concrete. Now this is a pool that, even in the worst times, always remained wet. Um, you can see we've got uh, Relia along here. Um, over here we had Sagittaria, Pennywort, Eleocharis right there. You know, all, uh, all good wetland indicators. You can see how this point, this bank is building up. Let's start over. Finishing coming around that bend and headed up now towards the stream, or towards the uh, pedestrian bridge. You can see on this side, I can knock some of the sun out there, how that bank is. This isn't too bad. I mean, we've had two months with no rain here. And a uh, fair amount of water in this stream. You know, I'm seeing quite a few minnows. When you think that this stream last year was almost totally dried up. Now here we've got some good substrate in this riffle. You can also see the algae. It's got a fair amount of sun. It's been warm lately. Probably uh, a lot of nutrients coming in from the leaf. Leaves breaking down as the water warms up, cools down, warms up, cools down. This is a really good spot for substrate. Small riffle coming through. Okay, here we are at the pedestrian bridge, heading under that. I was really happy to see that pedestrian bridge come in. The previous one was made of wood, and uh, when it was wet, that thing was slick like ice. Once again, just, uh, just above the pedestrian bridge, You can see uh, what our substrate primarily is here. We're looking at a whole lot of, uh, of concrete. 